Yeah, hello everyone, this is Fohan from FohanReviews.com In this short video I want to show you a new PDF editor well, I say new, it's new to me I've never heard of it, I've never seen it before I've been using Adobe Acrobat um, as part of the Creative Suite for about three, three or four years I was paying full price which was about £50 a month I think it was and I had Premiere Pro and all that but Premiere Pro was too complicated, I got fed up after a while, so I switched to Camtasia or some other ones as well. And Photoshop, I didn't really use the main features, and for me, it was just too much money for something that I didn't use that much. So I switched to Soda PDF, which is this one here. Um, at first, I thought it was pretty good, but it's really annoying because it's quite buggy, it crashed a lot, it, it did slow down the PC a lot, and also they used to have annoying pop up ads all the time. And in the end I just got fed up and I uninstalled it and got rid of it completely. I also tried the Wondershare editor, PDF Element Pro, but I had to cancel it after the first 14 days because one of the main features I needed, which is snapshot tools, they didn't have. And they kept saying, oh yeah, we're working on it, but they never had no plan, no, no release date. And even now I haven't got it in there. So that's those two out of the way. Um, Adobe, you can't buy it, buy it, I would just try to subscribe to it. Uh, monthly for is it $13.14 yeah, $13. so it's about 160 odd quid for the year which is a lot of money for something that I use very little of I don't use it that much I don't use all the features so this one is PDF Exchange Editor now I'm using the free version now you see here they've, they've written here more than 60% of the features in PDF Exchange, Exchange Editor do not require a license which is true because I'm not paid a penny for it yet and everything I need it to do is done. So I can. The, one of the main things I do is I go into. Let me open a PDF. Um, I do a lot of labeling and stuff. So I need to edit A4 documents and just grab the label out for shipping and so on. So I can quickly go in and just say, for example, I need to print. Uh, let me see something feasible. So just say I need to do just, just take a little portion of this page and print that onto a label. Um, I can right click, go down to the snapshot tool. And just highlight the area that I want. Then right click, go to print. Um, choose my label printer, which is the GC420. And it's formatted onto the label. So I can just print this out now. So I don't need to waste an A4 sheet printing off everything. Just print off what I need. And this is one of the main things that I needed with the PDF exchanger. This is what I use mostly in Adobe Acrobat. So that, that that's one of the main features that I like. Now also, I noticed that it's very light on system resources. I've never had it crash like Soda PDF, unlike Soda PDF, I mean, which crashed all the time. And overall, it's, it's easy to use. It's got a lot of features, even in the free version. But if you were to upgrade, which I may do, because you get to use forms and stuff in the upgraded version, it's just a one-off payment. And uh, it's either $46 or $60 for the plus version. And yeah, there's a lot of amazing features in this in this software. I really like it. Um, let me see what else did I want to and and the other thing yeah but with the, with the free version the, um, uh, it recognizes if you're trying to print out um, so if you're trying to send a document like a word document that's maybe a commercial document like an invoice I know it's that issue recently where it, it wanted me to upgrade to the plus version to use it for commercial purposes but what I did for that is um, okay well I can't show you it's not a document but you just choose example in Microsoft Word just to print to printer and then you can install the free Microsoft pre PDF printer or any other free PDF printer and then you can um, save it as PDF that way and then open it up in open it up in PDF Exchange and you can use a snapshot tool to cut bits out do whatever you want to do. So that's another tip to use it completely free. So overall it's a really useful PDF tool. It's one of the best I've used for a while since Adobe. Sorry about that. Yeah, so this is the best tool I've used since Adobe Acrobat. And it's the best free PDF editor I've used. And um, I think I might even upgrade to the Plus version. But I'll leave a link down below. It's not an affiliate link. It's just a direct link. Or you can just search for it. It's called uh, PDF Exchanger. One second. <laughs> P oh, that's a funny name. Here we go. PDF Exchange Editor. And you download the free version and you just get cracking. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you find it useful. Please click the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.